I'm Todd Grisham, and there's nothing quite like the Empire Fight Camp, especially at night. And watching this live with me is Johnny Nelson. About time to... Time for our tale of the tape. And it's Sean Porter weighed in at 147 pounds even. That's the welterweight maximum. He's got a reach of about 70 inches. And that's pretty good for someone who only stands five foot six inches tall. And he'll be facing Terrence Bud Crawford, weighing in at 140 pounds. He's five foot seven inches tall with a reach of 74 inches. <laughs> I'll always go for reach every time over anything. If you've got reach, touch with speed, nobody's gonna touch you, but someone that can get in close, that has the power to get up close and personal and break those ribs, get those shots into the body, you have gotta look out for that. It's Sean Showtime Porter, the two-time... This bout is scheduled for eight rounds of boxing. In the red corner, from Las Vegas, Nevada, by way of Northeast Ohio, here is a welterweight champion of the world, Showtime, Sean Porter! Hiding out of the blue corner, from Omaha, Nebraska, here is an acclaimed three-division champion of the world, Terrence Bud Crawford. Lots of hype as they will fight into the night. We're outdoors for this big main event. You can hear the noise. You... And there's the bell to start the round. <laughs> Unlucky to miss with that jab. Good counter-punching. Only catching air with that hook. Throws the jab, but it doesn't score. Down goes some quarter. So the referee says he can continue. The corner needs to think nice and sharp. They know their fight. They know what their fight is capable of doing. What their fight can and cannot take. This is going to be a tough decision to make. It's a good start to the round for this guy. The corners must be so, so happy. Down to a T. Play the fun out to a T. If they can pick up momentum and do this over and over and over again, they've got a <laughs> John Porter and Terrence Crawford, first two, Crawford, winning by T. Crawford in trouble. Oh, Porter is on wobbly legs. Looks like they've shaken it off. Green Days now needs to steady the pace. Get the pace back to normal. Ten seconds to go, and what domination we've seen in this round. Crawford is dazed. <coughs> Let's talk about Sean Porter in that last round. It's not over till it's over, but that knockdown is going to be huge. You've been put down. You've got to think right, survive, and then give it back the next round. Three, three. Come on, suck it up. Suck it up. Tell five more. I just want you to get out there and box. Box and breathe. Listen to me. You're not tired. You're acting like... Get your breath back. Listen, you're not tired. You think you're tired, but you're not tired. They ring the bell, and here we go. Crawford's <laughs> legs are all over the place. He's back on his feet, but at some point, you have to think about the next fight and not this one. Hard, he's off. I uh, should be surprised if he makes it back to the corner. And if he does, will he get back up on his stool again? That was a shot. 
You can tell who's stronger and who's faster. <laughs> Can't believe they managed to beat the count, but that could be the last hurrah. Now it's about getting back to the corner, pressing on, getting new instructions given to you, and they've got to do what they've got to tell you what you're doing wrong and what you're doing right. So it's onward and upward after a knockout win here. Accuracy, power, punch, perfect. That must hurt. 